Boohoo is in motion. Because you know, this is a given, guys, so listen up. Be the you who is always in motion, following the path to what it is you want to accomplish. When you know that you are the you, not the other you, but the you who is in motion, because where thought goes, energy flows. And we're all made up of energy and we're all part of the quantum mechanic of energy. So knowing that where thought goes, energy flows. What are your main thoughts for today? What are you thinking today? Because I just want to go over this really quickly because all aspects we have in our lives is energy. Every aspect of our life is in motion. So when you know that you are in motion every minute of every day, even if you're sleeping, your, your cells are rejuvenating, they're recycling, they're, they're growing, they're rebuilding themselves, they're doing everything. We're always in motion. The question is, on a conscious level, are we in motion that is being a good motion? Or are we in a thought pattern that is attracting a negative response? So I want you to take a look at that for yourself today. I mean, right now, please. Because be the you, you, only you know who you are, who is in motion. And be in the right motion. And I talk basically to a lot of mindset for people and a lot of business owners online. Because, you know, if you're growing your business and you started online, maybe you started online this year after this whole thing started with the country, but, and maybe you're not doing so good yet, yet. So maybe you're not doing where, where you want to be yet. Maybe you're not getting the money coming in that, that you want to have coming in. So look at that and look at where your motion is going and be, and know and say to yourself, Am I the me, nobody else, who is in motion to achieve my desires? Am I in the right vibration to manifest what I want? Because change the flow of your life to change that flow where it was to where you want to be. You have to challenge yourself. And I say this wholeheartedly and with love because you have to change the you that you were when you started your business is not the you who is going to make it happen. That you may have been out of desperation, out of need to want to create more wealth and more revenue for your family. That is not the you who is going to get what you want. That is not the you who is going to succeed. So you have to challenge yourself to be in the mindset, in the frame of mind. And a challenge is good. A lot of people are saying, Christy, you're always promoting challenges to do things. You're always promoting challenges to grow businesses. And I see them working and I see people doing them, but I just don't think a challenge will work for me. Well, a challenge is there, and I want you to challenge yourself to do what you want to do. Because if you challenge yourself, and maybe you need to get a buddy. Maybe you need to get someone who will make you accountable. That's what a challenge group does. It keeps you accountable every day. You know, and no one's going to push you, and no one's going to make you. You have to do that yourself. So regardless of what kind of a challenge you are setting for yourself, for yourself, you have to realize no one's going to crack a whip and make you do it like you're in school. You have to do it yourself. But if you have a buddy, if you're in a team, if you're in a group of people where everybody is succeeding and everybody is following through and doing it every day, won't that give you more incentive to do what, what you need to do? Suppose you did that. Suppose you did that and you followed the guidelines and you followed the rules and you did everything suppose you made a breakthrough suppose you got the next level in your business which maybe is the first level maybe it's for getting your first sale maybe it's getting your system set up 
learning how to say the words, learning how to set your profile right, learning how to get attraction marketing working for you, whatever it is you need. Set yourself challenges. Set yourself challenges. And if you need to get in groups of people who will hold you accountable, because if you're not going to hold yourself accountable for what you're doing, then I suggest this will probably work for you because it's worked for thousands of people before you is to get with someone who will hold you accountable, who will say, okay, this was the lesson for yesterday. How many people got this done? That's holding you accountable. Whether you did or you didn't, you are where you are. No one's going to say, oh, Susie Lou didn't get it. Susie Lou failed. No, it's not going to happen. You want to be held accountable in a way that is in a business structure because you're a business owner. No one's going to treat you like a child. You don't want to get into a school form type thing where the teacher's going to hold you accountable like in a school form. That's not cool. But design the challenges that you need. What kind of a challenge do you need? Do you need challenge? Do you need to challenge yourself in maybe completing tasks? Do you need to challenge yourself in maybe you need to learn how to market because everything in the world is marketing. Regardless of what it is, everything comes back to marketing. So look at that. Look at how marketing works for the world and look at how it's working for the masses. Commercials are marketing. TV programs are marketing. Think about it. Look what they're teaching your children. It's marketing. Everything in the world is marketing. So if you're having a problem with marketing, maybe that needs to be one of your focuses. So always strive to get better and better. No matter where you're at, no matter how much revenue you have coming in, always strive to be better. Because what happens is you're not, maybe you're saying, well, I don't want to be greedy. I don't want to be greedy. Maybe there's not enough. There's more than enough wealth for everyone in the world. And the way I look at it, for myself, this does not have to be you. I'm just telling you what I look at it for myself. The more money I make, the more impact I have on the world. The more I'm able to help people, the more I'm able to give, the more I'm able to assist when something comes up for someone else, not just myself. But the more money I have, the more revenue I have coming in, the more I'm able to do. It's not so much just what I'm able to do for myself, but it's what I'm able to do for society, what I'm able to do to help the next person. Like for example, if you probably, you know, when you go out to eat or something and you notice that maybe your wait, your waitress is, you know, maybe she's not feeling real well. I don't mean with the COVID thing. I said, maybe she's maybe she's kind of sick or, you know, whatever's going on. Like a while back, I had a waitress that she was just struggling, you know, just having a really hard time walking and, you know, and everything. And I just, you know, when she was bringing my meal and my husband and I, and we just asked her, you know, are you okay? You know, is everything all right? And she's come to find out she was battling cancer. And... It was like, oh man, you know, I'm so sorry. And she's, you know, got all this help and everything. That's great. Well, I figured, and I do this, and I love to do this with, I usually do things like this when I'm anonymous. Because I don't like to, I don't like to be known that I did this. So what we did is we left her a humongous tip. It wasn't even, a, it was just humongous. And before we did, I asked her, I said, so do you share your tips with the group? Are you group tipped or are you individually tipped? She goes, no, we're individually tipped. We keep all of our own tips. So I wanted to make sure, first of all, that it wasn't going to go into a group tip. Because I wanted this money to go to her to help her, you know, with her treatments and with, you know, taking care of her family. So in doing that, of course, this time I had to be known. And I, it was like, okay. So we did that and we gave her this really great um, help. And needless to say, she was very grateful and she was very appreciative. And she's like, oh my gosh, I can never repay this. And all I could say was pay it forward. I want nothing back, pay it forward. 
So, and then it was, it was strange. It was really actually ironic because it was several years later when we came back to the, in, to that town, we came back through and stopped at that same place to get a bite to eat. And lo and behold, powers that be put this woman as our waitress. And she's like, oh my gosh, I remember you. You helped me out so much when I needed help and you listened to me. That was the greatest gift I've ever had. And she is in remission. She's doing better. Her family's doing great. Needless to say, sometimes you can do something great for someone else. It's just, you know, maybe it's a small thing. Maybe it's just listening to someone. And you can help them out so much. So that's where it comes into never stop striving for more. Never stop requiring more from your business, more revenue from whatever income streams you have coming in. Never stop striving because not so much what you can do for yourself, but what you can do for others. And by having this money that I have, I was able to help this woman, this young woman. And I'm not saying that all of the money I did helped her 100%. It was just a small drop in the bucket. But it was there when she needed it. So that's what it's about, guys. It's not just about making the big bucks for yourself. It's challenging you. Challenge yourself to be the best you in motion with what you want. You can be. And always strive for more. Always strive for the best. Always strive and challenge yourself. Always challenge yourself every day. In your business, in your life, challenge yourself. I have challenges for myself every day that I need to do, that I am doing, that I am succeeding at, that I am prospering with. Always challenges. I call them challenges because I have to challenge myself because if I step off of the plate or I step off of the path and I'm not challenged to see it forward, I'm not going to do any good for anybody else and I'm not going to do any good for myself unless I succeed in what I challenge myself to do. So take the challenge, take it in a group format. If you need help getting the challenge, we've got you covered. If you need help growing your business, there's, there's so much training here. If you need help getting motivated, it's easy to motivate someone. It's the person that you're motivating. If they don't take the action steps to put it into play, that motivation will go right out the window. It'll just float away. And there's nothing anybody can say or do to change who you are. It's up to you to make those changes. So be the you in motion who is in motion. Because remember, thought flows, energy goes. Where energy goes, flat thought flows. Oh, I just missed it up. Where thought goes, energy flows. <gasps> See, I got myself all tongue-tied. So definitely stay in motion with what you want to create. Get your business going. And maybe it's not right yet. That's a yet. That's not a definite thing. That is a yet. Because you've got the tools here. You've got the systems. You've got the strategies. Everything you need is right here. Look at it. Use it. Ask questions. Come on. Okay, guys, I'll talk to you later and have a super blessed day. Okay, bye-bye.